All right, well, it is 531. We're just a minute behind, but we'll go ahead and get the meeting up and going. I want to thank everybody for, for being here tonight for our February 16th Board of Commissioners meeting. Um, so at this time, we'll call the meeting to order. I'd like to ask Kirk Anderson if he would to open us with an invitation for prayer, please. Thank you, Lord, for letting us gather together again. Please, Lord, bless this uh, meeting. Let bless these proceedings. Let calm heads prevail. Please, Lord, lead us and guide us in your direction. Uh, let's lead us with the decisions you would have us to make to make this community good, a good community for all. Please, Lord, bless all the ones that are standing on the front line tonight, whether it be police, fire, or men and women in uniform uh, overseas protecting our freedom. Please lead us and guide us. Let us be the people you would have us to be. Let us grow this community to be what you would have it to be. In the name we pray. Amen. 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 Scott, would you lead us in place, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. One uh, quick statement before we go, and I, I probably should have done this right before we went into the prayer. I know if you look at the the podium today, you see we've got an empty seat. Mr. Landrum, our county attorney, is, is not with us tonight because his father passed away um, last night. So if you guys would, please continue to keep him in, in your, your thoughts and prayers. I know they've announced that visitation will be tomorrow from 11 to 6 at Roper Funeral Home with a, a graveside service at 3 o'clock on Saturday at the Jasper City Cemetery next to the Methodist Church. So. Um, if you would keep him in your thoughts and prayers, we would uh, appreciate it. So that, with that also said, if you would not challenge us with any significant legal issues tonight, then we would appreciate that. Without an attorney present, we'll have to postpone responding to your answers. So. Um, but thank everybody again for being here. With no amendments to our agenda, I'm going to actually turn the floor over tonight. We've got a, a little bit different situation. We're going to turn the floor over to the Marine Corps League. Uh, we've got... The former commandant, I don't know the official current title, but Mr. Richard Wilson's here to, to do a presentation, so I'm going to turn the floor over to you and let you, you move forward with your presentation. Ready? Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm here to give out uh, three awards to three individuals who played a major role in the county and uh, helpful toys for tots. Uh, and the Marine Corps League. And the first one is to uh, Amy Brandon. Amy, if you would come up, I'd appreciate it. Amy is our Toys for Talk coordinator. And you're not supposed to see that. Yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's a check right away. <laughs> uh, she's our uh, coordinator for Toys for Tots, has been for the last four years. Uh, has done a, a magnificent job, her and her crew. Uh, this year was our biggest year of giving out toys, which is one way great, one way not so great. You wish that uh, we didn't have to do that. But to give you just, just kind of a quick rundown, uh, Amy, like I said, has been for uh, Toys for Todd Corner for four years. We spent this year in, in dog donations uh, $26,079 for toys. And that all stayed within the county because we bought, bought all of our toys in the county. Uh, money that was donated was $28,455. We took care of 4,000, yeah, four, no, we uh, kids, the kids got 4,083 toys went out our back door. And that's almost double from last yeah, year? that's the amount of kids we serve. And uh, toys collected, 7,426. And that's the toys for tot boxes that you've seen in the, in the different places. Uh, let me read. Could you hold that for me here? Not the check. Would you Still. In appreciation and gratitude for your Toys for Tots and for the children in Pickens County. Uh, being from the old school, I'm going to hug. I'm not going to shake your hand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And the Marine 
League, which I won't say run Toys for Tots, but it's, toy, it's tied in with Toys for Tots. I'm going to give her a check so she can start her next year campaign for $2,000. Wow. Thank you, dear. Yeah. Thank Love you. Amy. Thank you. Oh. Thank you for all you do, honey. Thank you. I wish I, I, wish I knew you were going to give it to me, so I would. <laughs> <laughs> and we had another couple of, we had a lot of individuals who helped out, but we had uh, a couple who kind of, kind of stand out, and we wanted to recognize them. The first one is our new fire chief. Uh, we in the past, and I say we, I, I, I'm the assistant coordinator for Toys for Tots, so I've spoken for, for both Green Corps League and Toys for Tots. Uh, we could never get, we never seem to get into the fire department places and get our boxes in and get help. Ken came on and joined the Marine Corps League because he is a Marine uh, and opened up the fire department for us. So hopefully, Next year, year after and after, it'll get bigger and bigger and bigger. I know Ken's here because I saw him. Yeah. Right here. <laughs> and we appreciate your help you so much. Thank you. And of course, that goes and very important to Marine is uh, is the uh, raising of the flag of Iwo Jima. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. And last, but certainly not least, this gentleman and his team have helped us uh, this year. Uh, just unbelievable the things that they've done. Over the past years, Georgia State Patrol, Post 28, has been a, a major help in Toys for Tots. They help us at uh, Walmart. They have their people standing out there, their troopers, rain, snow, we've had it all. And they're out there helping us, collecting toys and money. And uh, this, they've just done it year after year. One year they brought in a helicopter just so everybody, the kids and parents could see, you know, something different than a helicopter. That was the year that we had the snow and. It was miserable, but we got it done. So if uh, our uh, state patrol gentleman would come up, I would appreciate it. I thank you kindly, and like I say, State Patrol, we've been doing this, like, what, 18 years, Jamie? And they've been out there every year with us, leading you for the parade. You know, like I said, having troopers out there to help collect toys and, uh, and money. And just, uh, we just can't thank you enough. I'm sure the fire department is going to come out here. Oh, yeah. That was, but, uh, Lay in that. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens there. That's good. But with that, we'd like to present that. And Thanks, you also are a Marine. No, sir, my boss was, so I'm going to give this to him. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 That's going to be his. Okay. I appreciate it, yes, and sir. we appreciate it. Thank you, sir. <laughs> That's the body. You can get a good picture of at least one. So before everybody leaves, I know that the progress and everybody would like to, if all three of the, the recipients would come up and, and get a picture made with you at the same time, we yeah. would appreciate it very much. Uh, one last thing. The biggest, and, 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 and I'm going to ask for help, and I know it's a long way to Christmas in your eyes, but for us, Toys for Tots, we'll start, what I mean, about three months, we start Toys for Tots again, one way or the other. Our biggest problem is housing. To get a building where we can deliver our toys out, bring toys in. Every year we, we're, we're somewhere else in the county, so, <coughs> It makes it tough on, on, uh, on the people who have to uh, pick up their toys, have to figure where we're at this time. But if you know anyone, get a hold of me, get a hold of Amy, get a hold of Ken, get a hold of State Patrol, they'll, and, and, get, and they'll get back to us. 
we just we, we we've got to get an empty building where we can do it, and it, it is just a killer every year. It's it's the <laughs> The last thing that we get done because we never uh, can find it, and you know that there's empty buildings. You've seen them all over the all over the county, but for some reason, it's just tough to. So with that, I'll shut up. And if, if the others would like to come up while you're still up front okay. and, and get that picture, I know a couple were needing to, to sneak out a little bit early, so that way you can get a picture with everybody collecting. I don't know, if Chief Prather, do you, do you want your crew to yeah. come up with you? I know they they, they can just uh, let's get out of the way.
So I was wondering if there was some kind of planning uh, for extra, you know, ex yeah. keeping green space and maybe incorporating some more parks. I know that comes with people with land that may want, or purchasing it, or people who may want to donate land that they, or that kind of thing that happens quite often. Um, and I'm bringing it up because I, I worked for a big park system in Ohio. And uh, the, the founders, back in, way back in the 1880s, um, they, they dedicated land around Cleveland, Ohio, and it's called the Emerald Necklace. Um, and it really provides a nice thing for that community and the veteran communities up there because um, it keeps people's um, property values up. And they vote every year on the, well, they vote whenever there's a levy to keep the parks and keep them going because the residents <coughs> see the great benefit and it keeps their property. And everybody wants to live around the parks. Right. So, and also I used to work for National Park Service, Fish and Wildlife, and Forest Service. So I'm all about green spaces and parks. And I'd really like to see and be involved in the long, kind of, Keep in Pickens County, so it's not so, so overwhelming. One part of that that um, we'd love to invite you to be a part of on Monday night. They'll have the next meeting. That's the comprehensive plan update. The comprehensive plan is where where a lot of that information is kind of laid out as far as future plans, long range plans, things that we're doing. Um, the, the the board has has entertained multiple. <laughs> every month I believe some conversation about uh, purchasing property and trying to do what we can to try to find a way to, to identify how do we expand it um, we have been focusing a lot of our attention on trying to fix the one major park we have which is Roper Park to get it up to date so if you notice the the lights that have been going in we've got plans for the, the walking path and some other things to get it improved before we start trying to expand uh, into into other territories, but we've been looking at other other property, uh, trying to have discussions about that as well. The county also has, has owns a significant amount of land off of Burnt Mountain Road that was some of the mountain properties that were there where the trails are uh, that have been moved into a protected space under a conservation easement that, that is there to try to try to ensure that they're protected as well. It's we're we're constantly in conversation as how do we take the next step beyond um, and finding the funding is obviously always the the biggest issue. And as some counties have a, a park bond that they put in place, which is is a millage that's assigned, and that's a conversation that's been had as to should we consider that. Uh, we're currently using a percentage of our SPLOS that was passed uh, prior to any of the three of us coming onto the board, but that that ten percent of that SPLOS is going to parks, but. When you, you review the pricing, when we originally did some different pricing, the, the cost estimates go, go significant. So we're trying to look at, okay, can we make passive parks throughout in different areas of the county to, to do it? Uh, we do plan on, on continuing to take action. We're just trying to finish the project that we've started first before we move into the others so that we don't have a million different things. And I hope I'm speaking yeah. collectively, but I'll yeah. turn it to, mm -hmm. I know this is, this, Something everyone's been passionate about. I, I would say too, if, if you know anybody that wants to donate land for a park, <laughs> we'd love to donate. <laughs> <laughs> well, just so you know, if I ever win the big lottery, I'm going to buy a big chunk of well, donate. Okay. <laughs> we would love to have that conversation. <laughs> but I will. And, but I'm happy to also, you know, be involved in a part of that because I have some time and energy, and it's a passion I have, and um, I have some experience in it too, having worked with those kind of folks. And so I'm ready to put my energy where my mouth is and support it not just squawk about it. Okay. Chris referenced the conference plan meeting. That's this coming Tuesday night at six PM sorry um, Monday. 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 It's the twentieth. Right? Yeah. Uh, at six PM downstairs in the picking room. So we would love to have you there. Uh, there was a uh, a community survey that went out uh, back before Christmas okay. and at this meeting we're going to review the results of that community survey and kind of get a gauge of where the where the county wants us to go uh, as far as development goes. Okay. Uh, I would love to have you back. I'll be there. Right. Can I get your name please? My name is Rosine, okay. R-O-S-E-N-E, Rushman, R-U-S-C-H-M-A-N, Benedict, B-E-N-E-D-I-C-T. -E Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Any other comments? Well, with that, I'd like to entertain a motion to adjourn.
So moved. I'll second. Move in a second. That's meeting to be adjourned at 6. Or, sorry, 5.51. <clears throat> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.